Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again and welcome back to our free course on making Divi responsive. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the settings in the content tab of any of the Divi sections, rows, columns, and modules. So in this particular lesson, we're going to be looking at how to replace content such as text, headlines, images, videos, and having different content like that on maybe desktop, tablet, and phone. We're gonna show you how to do that. I think this one's really cool. Let's get started and show you how. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you examples of how to replace the actual content on different devices. So I'm going to be going over um, a handful of modules that I picked out that have this feature in them. Um, the first one, I guess, is kind of the, I guess the most basic one I always start with, the text module. So if we go into the text module, you'll have this body text area, right? So it's in, we're in the content tab, of course, and then um, under the text toggle, you have all of this text here. And so when you enable this uh, responsive icon and we get these breakpoints, um, actually let's, this, you know, it would make it a lot easier if I used the headline. So this is text, but I'm gonna use this. So it says building successful businesses since 1985. Let's, let's enable the responsive icon. And then let's say um, on phone, we think that that's too long. We think the headline is too long. So I'm not sure how we could shorten that, but I'm uh, bear with me, this is a demo. Let's say I only wanted to say, say that. All right, that's how easy it is to do. You can literally re replace or change your content on different devices. See, when I'm on the desktop breakpoint here, it's showing all of it. But when I switch to the phone one, it's just showing that. And I think that is really cool. This is a really cool feature. Okay, so we can also do that with the button module. So this one here, you can see uh, it says learn more about us. Well, let's enable the responsive tabs here again and go to phone and let's just see depending on your phone size you know if you were to adjust this preview that's going to be pretty wide so let's just change it on phone to say learn more and make sure you spell learn correctly okay so that's some of the things you can do with it that's um, a really good use case for doing this Another use case would be the blurb. You can do it here to the title text. All right, so whatever you, title you put in the blurb, you can change that. You can change it to the body text. So another example is the image. So if you have, a, have a, just a regular image module, you'll see the tab here again. And let's say on desktop, we wanna have this dog swimming in the water but then on phone, for some reason, we want to change that and we want to use this picture of some kind of decor in the house. Okay, I don't really know why you would do that, but there you go. You can do that um, and it'll change based on your device. You can also do that with videos. It's the exact same thing with videos. So depending on um, if you had like a video that was loading from your own server. You might want to have a smaller one, a shorter one that shows on mobile or something like that. But basically you get these same settings here and you can do it to the overlay. One more is the code module. So if you had code that you only wanted to apply to a certain device, there you go. You can put the code in a certain device. And the last one would be a search module and I've actually done this on my site. So like the placeholder text, you might say, search our blog for posts. I doubt you would say that, but let's say you said that on desktop. Well, that's too long for mobile. So you could just change it to, you know, something like search, right? So it's little things like that that you can do that I think are really cool and helpful for making your site responsive. Okay, so that's how you have different content on different devices in Divi. I think this is fantastic. I feel like they've really set themselves apart with this feature, and I really enjoy using it. I think it's really practical. All right, well, let's keep going. We'll see you in the next lesson.